heard the phrase, one man's trash is another man's treasure. This is in fact true in the wonderful world of garbage. You may be wondering why I'm standing in a garbage can. Well, it's because I love garbage. In fact, I carry it with me in my backpack at all times, right next to my chemicals. Garbage has often had a bad reputation as being gross or icky. But if we take a closer look at garbage, we might find a solution towards our current energy crisis or crises. Our cars and your American economy relies on petroleum. But what if we could use garbage as a fuel? Doc, played by Christopher Lloyd, a close colleague of mine, does it in the Back to the Future movies. Can we do it today? As you'll see, when we look at methane, this future can become a reality today. Oh, hi! Didn't see you walk in. I was just here in my chemistry lab, finishing up my Lewis structure of methane. As you can see, carbon, which has four valence electrons, wants four more electrons so it can have eight electrons. Now it gets those electrons from four individual hydrogen atoms. And as we'll see, this is the type of thing that can be very important for other reasons. You smell that? That's methane. This clean burning fossil fuel can be found in natural gas, decaying garbage, and cow farts. Now, how can we use this methane to produce energy? Certainly we can't use the cow farts. Hillary Clinton tried that, but it doesn't work. But we can use garbage. You see, garbage, which goes to a landfill, eventually decomposes. And this forms methane gas. Now, as we said earlier, methane is a carbon joined by four hydrogen atoms. Now this gas seeps from the bottom of the pile gradually towards the top and into the atmosphere. But if we can only harness this energy, we can use it to burn and turn turbines, which turn generators and produce electricity. It's a fascinating way of the future. Now, we said earlier that methane is a very clean burning fossil fuel. Now I'm going to show you how. I have here an equation, a balanced equation, thanks to the expert tutelage of Dr. Lewis Seitzman at Trinity Christian College. When we combine octane with 17 oxygens, which as you'll recall is a combustion process, we produce 16 carbon monoxides and 18 H2O. More appropriately, water to you and me. Now methane, on the other hand, represented here by CH4, when combined with only two oxygen molecules, produces two carbon dioxide molecules and two hydrogen dioxide. Again, better known as water. Well, as we can see, the combustion process for methane is much, much cleaner. Now, I've color-coded these equations to help you, the viewing audience at home, understand. If the equation's green, that burning's clean. If the equation's red, that's a dirty gas, Fred. As we have just seen, garbage produces methane, but this process does not happen overnight. First, ideally, garbage is collected and put into a proper trash receptacle. 
It is then hauled by trucks to the landfill where it decomposes. Its byproduct, methane, is tapped, purified, and used as fuel to produce energy for homes like yours and mine. There are now 102 landfill gas facilities in the U.S. providing energy to 100,000 homes. This is the energy equivalent of 20 million barrels of oil. Is methane the answer to our energy problems? Can our trash become treasure? While there is no definite answer to these questions, we can be certain that methane is a valuable source of fuel for us and the future inhabitants of God's wonderful creation. Funding for this program was provided by the Annenberg CPB Project. Additional funding provided by the people of Dow, the company that lets you do great things. The 8,000 scientists of the Eastman Kodak Company. The Exxon Education Foundation on behalf of Exxon scientists. And...